Hey guys, Mythic here, and today we are back with a, um, another, uh, Mountain Blade Warband video. So, yesterday I took a break from doing some videos, because I'd been just pumping them out, and, okay, yeah, um, I'd just been pumping the videos out, and I needed, I mean, it's not like they were very challenging videos, I, I just, I kinda, I mean, okay, Swadey and Rodox made peace. That's nice, that's a war over. They're not at peace with me, by the way, because I haven't technically... So, if you've been following me and you randomly decided to, uh, attack some, uh, Rodox, because, you know, hey, they're Rodox, um, do not expect to just walk into Rodox land and they'll like you now, because they don't have a grudge with the kingdom of Swadia for what you did. They have a grudge with the kingdom of you yourself personally <laughs> so uh yeah jeez I need a better reticle <laughs> well not reticle but I need a better archery skill I should probably focus on archery now let's just this entire episode I won't use my axe once that is the challenge to try to boost my archery skill and if anyone's like some for some odd reason copying me exactly, I doubt that because Mountain Blade is such a fun game. You gotta just try it out yourself. Get good. Um. Oh, oh no, you killed. What was that? Oh yeah, Fire Antis. Yes. This I don't know if this will be much of a tutorial video actually. Uh, I might even just name this a tutorial episode. Yes. Uh, seven. Uh, joining a faction or joining faction parentheses waiting <laughs> because uh frankly we have to wait till the war with the uh nords ends oh by the way i killed that horse because only then will the king be free and only then will we be able to say make me your um servant so we're off to Durham. we're off to Durham, the tavern i got a watchman a ransom broker and rolf Rolf, Rolf, Rolf. I have never heard of the House of Rolf. Really? Perhaps your ignorance can be forgiven. Our ancestral lands are far away over the mountains. Okay. Like all men of my family, I have come to foreign land to make a name for myself in the profession of arms before returning home to take over custodianship. Great word. That shouldn't be. <laughs> of my estates. Unfortunately, the. Okay, now. The authorities in these lands have little understanding of the warrior code and have chosen to call me a bandit and brigand and put a price on my head. A most unfair libel to throw... Libel? I don't know how to pronounce that. Whatever. To throw at a gentleman adventurer. You will surely agree. But I am anxious to avoid further trouble. So if you knew any company fighting men where I might enlist, I would be most grateful. I run such a company and might be able to hire an extra hand. Good. I look forward to vanquishing your enemies. Um, uh, note, however, that as a gentleman and holder of a barony, I expect to be in a position of command and not be treated as one of the common soldiers. Good luck with that. Very well. I will be glad to uh, have you with us, um, Baron. Excellent. Before we depart, would you be so kind to lend me 300 dinars? I had to pawn a family heirloom at a pawnbroker here in Durham. And I'd like to retrieve it before we leave. Certainly. Here's the hundred dollars. She's not going to get a family or let She's going to waste my money. Anyway. Let's go see the skills. Oh, yeah. We got Clefie as well. Clefie and Ferentis are armored. Poor old Rolf. Oh, no. Did I not give Clefie... Oh, God. I gave Clefie some knives. <laughs> Please take this saber as an apology, and, um, a mediocre horse. Man, you can't use the mediocre horse. Can't even use any horse. And these are for Ferentis, I think. Mm, well, I gave you a good home. Can you use a shield? Yes, you can use a shield. Okay. So, Cluffy's skills are tracking. Rolf is good at first aid and tactics, so we're gonna remember that. And poor Ferentis has no skills at all. <laughs> all right. Let me see your equipment. Um, okay. You need a helmet. Can you ride? 
Yes, he can actually ride a good. Yes, he can ride a good horse. Uh, we need to go fight some sea raiders to get you some decent stuff. A sword, it's just a sword. Mhm. Mm Fighting axe. I like to give my guys just some. Oh, this would just be. <laughs> this would just be great. Oh, I can't do that. Oh, that would suck for him. Uh, let me see your skills. We need to get his uh, power draw up to like at least two because I'd like to give all of my people at least a ranged weapon. Alright, so uh, we have a weathered band of uh, troops. Let's head all the way over here to the far reach. Ooh, that's a big Nordic party. To the far reaches of the world, mainly Kadan, also known as my favorite city ever. I love Kadan best city in the game. The Vagers, they're awesome. Now, while I do like the Rodox, oh, there's Marnid. Marnid's really cool. I have him in mine. Uh-huh. Blah, 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 blah. Open your purse. I have prisoners to sell. 112. 96. 66. 73. Fair price. Marnid, your last five dinars. What's happened to you? My apologies if I was rude. I left Georgia with a caravan of goods, but I was hoping you saw it all in Sargoth and make help you some. But what do you know, we were ambushed by a party of Kurgit raiders who rode away with most of the horses and goods. Two days later, me, my own caravan guards ran away with the rest of what I had. So here I am, no money and no home. Well, perhaps I could offer you work, can you fight? Well, I will confess that I'm not a warrior by trade. I'm a fast learner, I can ride and... Know a fair bit about trade prices and such. That will do. Oh yeah, this guy's free too. Mainly you want this guy because uh, of the trade bonuses you get from him. So now you got trade and wound treatment. So we got like all the aids of firsts and stuff. Oh god. All of the first aid and health skills. I'm just gonna ignore what I said about five minutes ago. And a club. You cannot, I'm not going to give you a horse because, well, honestly, I think this sword might be too much for him to handle. Uh, let's give him some decent boots. Give him the cricket body armor to take a hit, or one. Oh, he actually, he got robbed by, okay, that was a little cruel. He got robbed by crickets, and I'm just going to hand hand over and give him those kurgits. Alright, who are those guys? Dang it, we're, we're on the hunt for the most vicious of prey. Sea Raiders. They run. Not uh, 28 of them. That's a vicious little force. We're just gonna... So, uh... 1, F1, hold this position. 2, F1, hold this position. We need our archers out in front so our infantry stay back. Mm. Two. F2. F2. Fall back ten paces. I don't want you so far ahead. Now, like I said, sea raiders are the most vicious of vicious. Ah, oh, wow, well, even my joke, bad grammar, it turns into bad grammar. They are the most vicious prey. And when you get parties of, like, 50 of these guys... You need a really, a really well trained force. You need a really well trained force to be able to handle them. I mean, heck, 28 versus 45 might be completely even battle. If we were charging them head on, we are not charging them head on, and therefore it should be an unfair battle in our advantage. Let's look at our new followers. We got a uh, Ferentis over here. I think we got uh, we got Rolf. Let's see if we. Oh, there's Marnid. I saw Marnid. Where's Clethi? Oh yeah, Clethi was knocked out. She was out cold. Okay, this is a uh, one of one of three time. Because drill the like if you're gonna use my strategy, which is probably not my strategy because it's it's a pretty simple strategy, which I use in every battle and it works effectively. I mean, usually if I had more cavalry, I would lead the cavalry in a uh, flanking force. But that's just simple tactics. But you know, you leave the archers in front, 
Oh, hi. And then you, um, when the uh, enemy get too close, you pretty much do one F1 of three, and, uh, boom, you kind of just beat the enemy. Unless you're outnumbered by a lot. Which, I mean, it works sometimes. You just gotta make sure you have a well-trained force. Anyway. If you're gonna use the strategy there, the, the command you gotta keep saying is 1 F1 F3, or 1 F1 F1, or 2 F1 F1, and then 1 F1 F3, and that's pretty much the simple commands, and one guy got killed. But we did pull out some manhunters, which will work as a class of cavalry. Actually, I'm going to give you guys away. I was going to actually use them for uh, getting the uh, sword sisters, but these guys are more effective quicker. Crossbowmen. We got a sharpshooter. We got a nice little force here. And perfect. A helmet. Two male shirts, uh, some javelins, and a spear. Let's get this just in case. Alright, so this is perfect, exactly what we needed right off the bat. So, our least equipped here. Oh, really? You got you got upgraded already? That is nice. Um, let me see your equipment, Rolf. Rolf is the better fighter, so Rolf is the one who deserves this. Um, he has the 14. Give him a shield. Um, yes, we can trade the battle axe for a javelin and give him a spear. It's also a storm in the background if you hear that. Um, Wolf, yes. Uh, look, did I get fire into his new boots? No. Let me see your equipment. New boots just for you. My boots are better. Alright, and let's go down to Marnid. Let me see your equipment. There we go. There we go. And let's, uh... Yep, yeah, we got you a shield. That is pretty much all you can expect out of Marnid. <laughs> Alright, um... Then our party's gonna regain quickly. Ooh, Sea Raider landings are my fave. Let's go take one out, just for funsies. We're pretty much waiting for the message to say, uh... The war with the, uh... Kingdom of Swadia and the Kingdom of Nords have made, have made peace. And you know what I think we're gonna do today? We're gonna buy a new... Oh, yeah. Dang it, I broke my rule about only using... Bow. So, I already broke it, so there's no point... I'm gonna sell this axe anyway and buy a better weapon. Ooh, why did I bring this guy into the battle? I mean, I have these guys, and I have a manhunter. You know, I have my elite, you know, heavy armored people, then I got these two dudes. I mean, this guy isn't bad. This guy's decent, I guess. And he's got a javelin sticking. Oh, really? Oh my god, I'm, I, I feel so sorry for you. Wait, no, come here, come here, come here, come here. No, look at me. Dang it, that would have been a good screenshot. Oh, no. That is a poorly placed throwing axe. Oh, Cleffy's level two now. No, no, no. There we go, that's a good screenshot. Hmm, maturity. Okay. Uh, so this dude wants to take me on. I'm going to win. Auto block is the best thing you can ever have in this game. <laughs> now, why is a looter in a Sea Raider landing? Sea Raiders. Ooh, that is the kind of thunder I like to hear and dislike to hear as well. I like thunder because I like storms. They're kind of peacefulish. You just hear the rain, you hear nothing else, you hear the crack of the lightning. It's very peaceful. It's very nice. I just like the rain. Because I like when it's wet. And it, the rain kind of cools stuff down. 
But the horrible thing about rain where I live is it's humid. So after it rains, tomorrow is going to be uh, pretty utterly miserable. I'm just going to throw an axe and just throw it. No? Let's see if we can snipe this person. Whoever, I mean, they're, they're, our, they're our friends, but let's see if we can hit them. Oh, there we hit their shield. That's close enough. Uh, the, the, the reason I dislike hearing that thunder is because, well, so far there's been three storms in this area. Two of which have knocked off a large chunk of uh, the power in the city. The first one destroyed our shed. Took us off power for about a week. I was literally in paradise in a resort down in Alabama. Um, my mom had to go home. So I stayed with my friends there. Pretty much all in all good time in Alabama. I didn't have to deal with the power outage. But we're just going to ignore that and keep getting back to the point. Uh, and then... Dad destroyed a shed. We lost a lot of stuff. Very expensive. Ta insurance is being stupid. You know, stuff like that. Um. But. The point is. If this is another storm. Pretty much following suit from the first two out of three storms. We're probably going to lose power. <laughs> Hopefully not. I would dislike. Let's go to our arms merchant. We need a two handed sword. I don't particularly like two-handed axes. I know I've been using one, but I honestly don't like them. And this doesn't seem like it's going to have the stuff that we need. So we are going to head back over to the Swadian lands. The heartland of Swadia. Oh, my room just got lit up, which means it's going to be a very loud crack of thunder in a second. Yes, okay, so uh, this might actually be the uh, final part of the uh, mini-series within a series. The series within a series. Tracking down King Harless is the title of this video. Sure. Okay, but first let's go to the marketplace. Let's go to the arms merchant. Now that is a fine weapon. Now it's expensive. That is a fine weapon. Ooh, I might have to go with a slightly cheaper one. I might have to go with the Sword of War. I, you know, we're not, we're not rich here. I mean, even the, this thing, this is going to be a beast too, you know. Sword of War is so much better than, where's our little crummy old axe? Yeah, let's see. Um, swing rating, 91, 94. Thrust, 31. Uh, uh, there wasn't a thrust on this one. The swing has 31. The swing has 40. Speed rating, 94. Speed rating, 91. Weapon reach, 130. Weapon reach, 108. So, yeah. This is going to be a good sword. And dang it, you ate up all the honey. Now, I was trying to save some of that honey to sell at this market. Actually, you know, I'm going to take this back and just a helmet in case I run across some peoples. I'm probably going to give this really good helmet to Ferentis because, frankly, Ferentis, he's my favorite, like I said. Check out the tavern real quick. Farmer. We could help the farmer. Yeah, let's help the farmer. I'm not going to read that. All right. First of all, let's talk to Ferentis. Oh, he already has a good one, so let's give it to Clefate. I think actually Marn. No, because Marnid's not the fighter. I do like Marnid more than I like Cleffy, but I gotta just go ahead and give this to uh, Cleffy. She is the better fighter. Let's check on Rolf. Technically, if you wanted to give the best equipment, give it to Rolf. But at the same time, don't, because he's he he can be a jerk. So finally, Marnid, give you this, and we have just gone down the weapon ranks, giving off better as we go. Alright, so the village the dude was talking about was Linda, which has also been a looted village, so 25 forest bandits. 
Now, I know there's usually... Oh, a child on your sword. There's usually a standard of about, um... 50 villagers in these, like, villages. So, I think they could have taken these guys out. And I am loving this sword. This sword is just like my, uh, current one, except worse. Truth is, I, I, I'm very proud of how this thing is going. I might even make this my main account later on. I mean, not my main account, but my main character later on. I don't know, though. I think it might be time to go back in my main character and do a bit of, a uh, remodeling. I'm, I barely used any of the people in the right way. Which, I mean, sounds bad to use people, but... You know what I mean? Like, I, I tried to make Marnit a fighter rather than a traitor. Uh, yeah, we gain honor. We have very low honor. Alright. So, we're off. And I think the capital of Swadia is... Uh, Praven. And this is where the king would be if he was restocking. And nope, we have left one the Far Seeker. I have dealt with you many times before, and I am not eager to do it again. Let's ask place where you are. I'm tutorial at your service. Uh, I wish to ask you something. That's the location of King Halis. You are very, very useful. If I have to Tredane, Tredane, I don't know. I'm just going to pronounce Tredian gonna pronounce it all oh, incorrect tree dane wait did he literally just say normally i cut trees no 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 i couldn't oh dang it i don't i wish to ask you something the location of nobody knows where king harless is bro well i mean they haven't said he's imprisoned in risk castle Um, King Harless. Are they even allowed to keep prisoners after the war? It's gonna quest entry to the castle. Continue. Go to Lord Tell. Um, no. Uh, take a walk around the courtyard. Yes, sir. King Harless is still imprisoned here. I have a big sword now. I can kill anyone. Probably you. No one. Okay, so King Harless has fallen off the board of the world. <sighs> Great. This is going to turn into an episode. Where's Harless? Count plays. Okay, this is cult like, but whatever. We're going to go. We must find where Harless is. Hey! Count plays. Is that king? That's Clargus, not Harless. There's oh, they're running from me because I'm technically still. I'm personally at war with the Rodox. You know the location of Praven. I knew he'd head back to the capital. You know. Okay. King Harless, I come back with a simple demand. Give me citizenship. Yes, you are known brave. You are known as a brave man at arms and a fine leader of men. Tutorial. <laughs> I shall be pleased to accept your sword into my service and bestow vassalage upon you. If you are ready to swear homage to me, I am ready, my lord. Good. Then repeat the words of the oath with me. I swear homage to you as lawful ruler of the kingdom of Swadia. I pledge homage to you, blah, 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 times two. <laughs> I will remain your loyal and devoted man as long as my breath remains, times two. And I will be at your side to fight your enemies should you need my sword, times two. Finally, I will uphold your lawful claims and those of your legitimate heirs, times two. Uh, very well, you have given me your solemn oath, Tutorial. May you uphold it always with proper courage and devotion. Let it be known from now on. You are a sworn man and vassal. I give you my protection and grant you the right to battle arms in my name. And I pledge that I shall not deprive you of your life, liberty, or property, except for the judgment alone that appears by the law and customs of the land. Furthermore, I will give you the fee. He gave us a tiny little town. 
Yeah, they always give you a tiny little town when you become a, a vassal. Seems like we skipped the merchant phase, I mean, the mercenaries phase, so we're heading straight to uh, vassal. Furthermore, I give you the feet of the Iron God with all of our trends and revenues. You have done well and wise thing to devour serve me well, and I promise you will rise high. Yay, thank, thank you, my lord. <laughs> I have great hopes for you too, Devoriel. I know you shall prove yourself worthy of the trust I am placed in you. Placed in you. And the Rodox no longer hate me, because I'm under this protection. Now let's find Yarengar. So the... This is going to be... Oh, here it is. Actually, I like Yarn. I like this area. It's a very fertile area, because it has the rivers, and the game takes that into account. But let's check it out. Oh, yay! I get to, uh, the right to bear arms. Now, I mean, there's, there's a ton of these cool arms... I mean, in my, uh, personal, I chose this one because I liked it a lot, but I think I already have one picked out. Uh, if I can find, oh yeah, I chose this one as once, chose that one once. This one, boom, now you can see it is here, our banner, and we are looking proud. Now let's go... The poverty of the village of Yarengar is unbearable. Only a handful of people are strong enough to work in the fields, many of which are becoming overgrown with weeds. The rest are weak and malnourished or have already fled elsewhere. The draft animals have long since starved out or were eaten, although a few carcasses lie on the outskirts, their bones gnawed by wild beasts. The village and the surrounding lands belong to you. So, as per you... Now, this is why I like the Rodok King better, because when I joined the Rodox, he gave me two castles and a village in, like, my first week of service. Now, if that's, if that's any indication that shows the Rodox are extremely kind and amazing people. Otherwise, let's walk around our poor village. And we instantly run into band-aids. Banditos. Would you like to fight my new sword? No one does. You are all pheasants. Pheasants. All pheasants. The chess move about pheasants. Alright, so uh, we just cut a few people down. Yeah, it, um, only impoverished, only uh, impoverished villages can uh, have uh, bandits appear regularly. They appear more, you know. Okay. Can we recruit some troops from my village? Nope, because we're so poor. Oh, I'm level 12, too, so let's find the, the village elder. They have plenty of grain stored up. Shut up about your poverty. How many tasks I can help you with? How many animals do you need? Thanks. So, uh, we're just gonna quickly, like, do this little quest. I mean, we literally gotta go to Namar, bring back, like, seven heads again. And there's bandits, so first we're going to have to save Namar from the bandit infestin infestion. I mean, frankly, since I just, I'm about to save them, they ought to give me these cattle for free. Like, hey, I just saved you. Give me your cattle if they weren't all killed. Could also go, like, alright. Anyway, so, this is, the next episode we will be doing is village management, because you have to manage your darn village. Hey, don't beat up my manhunter. No, they beat up my manhunter. They killed one of my manhunters. This is unbearable. This cannot stand. You must die. No, no. I will now cause pain to any man who dares step foot over the corpse of my dead manhunter. Stop. Just stop. Alright, so... Ah, oh, dang, they killed a farmer. I don't care. The farmer's not my troop. Anyway, guys, so we're gonna quickly finish up this quest. Might even leave it at this just to start the next episode. Yes, yeah, so that's what I'll do. After this battle, I will leave the game and we will start again tomorrow. Tomorrow's episode is going to be village management and another farmer dies. Now, if I only had a village that had stone walls... Let's buy supplies. Dang it. Wait, let's see if we're gonna do this quest. I wanna make sure that I'm not stupid and walk into Namar respect, respect, 
expecting, expecting to buy cattle, and then to not have cattle. Buy some cattle. Okay, they have a lot of cattle. Anyway, guys, I will uh, see you all tomorrow with the next installment of Mountain Brave Tutorial. This is Village Management. This is uh, joining a faction, the final part. Uh, anyway, remember to like, comment, subscribe. Tell me if you have any questions in the comments. Mythic out.